subscribe and hit the bell icon. The koala. Hi, everybody. My name is Leo. I am a junior ranger. And this is my puppy, Hero. Look, Hero, this is your paw print. The earth here is soft, and when you step on it, you see, this is my footprint. <coughs> Let's see if we can find more prints. Look, Hero, here are some prints. They are not yours. <coughs> Interesting. This print has two thumbs. I have never seen such prints before. What animal could they belong to? <laughs> oh, wow! A koala bear! It must have made those prints. Hello, koala bear. Your claws are really sharp. <laughs> Shh, Hero, I think you're scaring it. You know what we should do? Let's take a photo and send it to my sister, Katie. She is also a junior ranger. Smile, koala bear. Hi, Katie. So, what did you find out? Hi, Leo. As I mentioned, it's called a koala, not a koala bear. It's not a bear. It is a marsupial, which means it carries its baby in a pouch, like a kangaroo. The koala can be found in different areas in Australia. What do koala bear, I mean koalas, eat? A koala is a folivore. That means it eats leaves. Koalas eat mainly eucalypt leaves and use trees as their home. Male koalas have a brown stain with a strong smell on their chest. Koalas also have two thumbs on their front paws and have very sharp claws. The two thumbs and sharp claws help koalas climb trees easily. Sadly, they are in danger of disappearing because their homes are being destroyed. Oh, that's so sad. If the koala doesn't eat, it'll starve. So let's bring the koala home and find a eucalypt tree for him. Come and join us. The koala would love that. Let's go. Come on, everybody. Join me in this party. One, two, here we go for lots of fun and lots to learn. Come on, everybody. Join me in this party. One, two, it's your turn for lots of fun and lots to learn. One, two, off we go for lots of fun and lots to learn. It looks like we'll have to cross the creek to take the koala home. <coughs> Hero, why are you barking? <coughs> oh, it's not you, Hero. Oh, no! Where did those ducks come from? No, koala, wait! They're scaring him away. He won't leave! Leo, do you have some doggy treats? Good idea, Katie. Here, doggies! Go get it! Oh no! That dog is not falling for it! Koala! It fell in the water! Good job, Hero. That was brave of you. Where is the koala? Wow, the koala can swim. Stay where you are. We're coming to get you. The koala is climbing up fast. He really is a great climber. Come on down, boy. We'll find a better tree for you. I hope you like it, koala. We did it. We found a perfect home for the koala. Great work, everyone. Hooray! We found
found a koala in our garden. We learned that a koala is not a bear, and they eat a lot of leaves. We took the koala home and found him an empty eucalypt tree. Good job, children. You did it. You are amazing wildlife rangers. The Malayan tiger. Hero, where are you, Hero? <coughs> Hi, everybody. My name is Leo. I am a junior ranger, and this is my puppy, Hero. You're just in time, Hero. Let's see who's stronger. I challenge you to a game of tug of war. <coughs> you take this end of the rope, and I'll take this end. The first one to pull the flag past their line wins. Ready, Hero? And go! Not bad, Hero, but I'm not gonna lose! <gasps> what? Ow! <coughs> what are you? Are you some kind of cat? Those are some beautiful stripes on its fur. You know what we should do? Let's take a photo and send it to my sister, Katie. She is also a junior ranger. Hold still, Kitty. Hi, Katie. Did you find more information about the cub? Hi, Leo. I sure did. The cub you found is a Malayan tiger. A Malayan tiger? Does that mean it comes from Malaysia? That's right. To be specific, Malayan tigers come from the forests of the Malayan Peninsula in Southeast Asia. But they can also be found in Southern Thailand. I see. So what do Malayan tigers eat? Like all tigers, Malayan tigers are meat eaters. They usually feed on deer, wild boar, and sun bears. But when there isn't enough food, Malayan tigers sometimes attack people and farm animals. Because of this, many tigers are illegally hunted by people. Tigers are also hunted for their body parts, like their skin. This illegal hunting is the reason why Malayan tigers are critically endangered. That means Malayan tigers are very in danger of disappearing forever. There are only about 250 Malayan tigers left in the wild. Oh no! We should protect Malayan tigers so they'll still be around in the future. You're right, Leo. But a tiger cub needs to be with its mother so it can learn how to hunt and get milk to grow. Only its mother can protect the tiger cub. Then let's bring the tiger cub back to its mother. Come and join us. That's a great idea, Leo. See you downstairs. I think it's safe for us to look for the cub's mother in the tall grass. We won't be able to see her coming. What if we look for the cub's mother from up there? Good idea, Katie. Come on, everybody. Let's fly. Tiger cub! Oh, no! The tiger cub jumped into the tall grass. We have to find it. Where did the cub go? Leo, could the tiger cub be in there? Or maybe it's over there. The tiger cub might be in one of the grass patches, but we can't go into the grass to check. There might be predators in there. Hey, I've got an idea. I'll use this! Great idea, Leo. Let me try it. Tiger cub! I got you, little one! Wow! 
We did it! We found the tiger cub's mother. Great job, everyone! Hooray! Yay! We found a Malayan tiger cub in our garden. We learned that Malayan tigers are endangered and that tiger cubs need their mother to be protected. So we went to the forest and brought the tiger cub back home to its mother. Good job, children. You did it. You are amazing wildlife rangers. The wild boar. Hi, everybody. My name is Leo. I am a junior ranger. And this is my puppy, Hero. Hero, the potatoes are ready. You want to help me dig them out? Great. We can have baked potatoes for dinner this evening. Hey, where did you come from? It's okay, Hero. We have enough potatoes to share. It has a snout like a pig. You know what we should do? Let's take a photo and send it to my sister Katie. She is also a junior ranger. Look up, hairy pig. Hi, Katie. So what did you find? Hi, Leo. The animal you found is a wild boar. A wild boar? The wild boar is like a pig that lives in the wild. There are different types of wild boars, and the one you found is a young eastern wild boar. Eastern wild boars are found in the tropical jungles of India, Southeast Asia, and the Far East. It likes our potatoes. What else do they eat? Wild boars are omnivores. They eat leaves, fruits, and nuts, and also animals like insects, mice, and worms. Sometimes they damage farmlands when they eat all the crops. Yes, it ate up many of our potatoes earlier. Let's bring it back to its natural habitat where it can find more food. Come and join us. Good idea, Leo. See you downstairs. It's a very hot day. Is she okay? It seems wild boars do not like extreme hot or cold weather. They are nocturnal, so they usually sleep in the day to avoid the heat. Sometimes they roll in the mud to keep themselves cool. What is it, Hero? You found a mud pool. There you go, wild boar. What is it, Hero? It's a lynx. It's one of the wild boar's predators. Oh no, we have to hide. Hmm, the mud seems to camouflage the young wild boar. I don't think the lynx can find the boar. But the lynx can see us. It's coming closer. Let's worry about the dirt later. Here we go. That was close. Phew. <laughs> Rolling in the mud pool is cool indeed. Let's clean up before we continue. Okay, little one. We'll stay here. It might be too dangerous for us. Look! 
It's her mother. We did it. We found the sounder of the young wild boar. Great job, everyone. Yay! A young wild boar in our garden. We learned that wild boars live in dense forests with lots of vegetation. So we went to the forest and brought her back to her sounder. Good job, children. You did it. You are amazing wildlife rangers. The crab eating macaque. Hero! Where are you, Hero? Hi, everybody. My name is Leo. I am a junior ranger. And this is my puppy, Hero. Do you want to play a game, Hero? <laughs> Great! Let's play a game of fetch. I will throw this stick very far away, and you will get it and return it back to me. You ready? Fetch! Hero, you're supposed to get the stick. Ow! That's weird. Sticks don't fly. Come on, guys. Let's have a look. There's nothing here. It's a monkey! I wonder how it got here. You know what we should do? Let's make a photo and send it to my sister Katie. She is also a junior ranger. Now hold still, monkey. Hi, Katie. Did you find anything? You're just in time, brother. The computer is looking for information about the monkey. Bingo! This monkey is a macaque. A macaque? Yes. A macaque. A macaque is a type of monkey. And the monkey you found is a crab-eating macaque. I guess there must be a lot of crabs to eat. Not really. Crab-eating macaques actually don't eat that much crabs. It's an omnivore, so it can eat different types of plants and small animals. Where does it come from? Crab-eating macaques live in different countries in Southeast Asia. The macaque you found comes from this place. Hmm, I think the macaque got lost. We should bring it back to its family. Come and join us. That's a great idea, Leo. See you downstairs. There were too many trees here. It's impossible to walk. <laughs> Wait, where are you going? We can't climb like that. He's gone. What is it, Hero? Stairs? Let's go up and have a look. Hey, this monkey is also a macaque. But this one is much bigger. Whoa! What are you doing? Were you looking for this? If you give me the binoculars, I will give you this banana. What is it, Hero? A sign? Hmm. I think it means we cannot give the monkeys food. It says that they have to find their own food, or else they might bother us and try to steal our things. 
Oh, dear. Careful, Leo. Do not smile with your teeth showing, because the macaques will see that as a sign of aggression. Oops! Time to leave! Everybody, let's fly! I think we should look for another group of macaques for you. These macaques weren't so nice. We did it! We found a group of macaques for our new friend. Great work, everyone! Yay! <laughs> a macaque in our garden. We learned that a macaque is a monkey. We went to the rainforest and found a group of other macaques it can live with. Good job, children. You did it. You are amazing wildlife rangers. The greater mouse deer. Hi everybody, my name is Leo and I am a Junior Ranger and this is my puppy Hero. I'm picking blueberries. Look how ripe they are. Mmm, and they taste really fresh and sweet. Let's pick blueberries together. It'll be fun. That's strange. Where have the blueberries gone? They were right here a moment ago. Look, they're disappearing. What is it, Hero? Is that a deer? Hmm, it looks like a deer, but it's so small. You know what we should do? Let's take a photo and send it to my sister, Katie. She is also a junior ranger. Hold still, little guy. Hi, Katie. So if it's not a deer, what is it? Hi, Leo. The animal you've just found is a mouse deer. It's called a mouse deer because it has hooves, like a deer. But its face and body is similar to that of a mouse. There are different types of mouse deer, and the one you found is called a greater mouse deer. Why is it called a greater mouse deer? That's because of all the different mouse deer, it's the largest. Still, mouse deer are small in size compared to other hoofed animals. In fact, they are the smallest hoofed animals in the world. Being small helps them hide better in the wild. They have long pencil thin legs that make them quick on their feet. They are also nocturnal animals which means they're active during the night. This is why the mouse deer is almost never seen. I see. We almost missed it eating our blueberries. The greater mouse deer likes to eat fruits, but they also eat leaves and aquatic plants. By the way, it lives in different countries in Southeast Asia. The one you found comes from this place. Hmm. I don't think there are enough blueberries in our garden. We should return it to its home. Come and join us. That's a great idea, Leo. See you downstairs. Guess we'll have to walk the rest of the way. Come on, everybody. <laughs> what 
What is it, Hero? The mouse deer is gone? Where is it? It's so hard to see anything here. What was that? The mouse deer might be in danger. Hero, lead the way. <laughs> the mouse deer is trapped. This must be one of the animal traps Ranger Rocky warned us about. I can't lift the door. I think there's some kind of lock on it. That's it, Hero. Let's all dig a hole together. That's a great idea. We can make a tunnel for the mouse deer. Almost there. It's still not big enough. We can use this. It's working. You can do it, mouse deer. We did it. We saved the mouse deer. Yay! Look, another mouse deer. And they recognize each other. We did it. We found the mouse deer's home. Great job, everybody. Hooray! Yay! a greater mouse deer in our garden. We learned that the mouse deer feeds on fruits and plants and lives close to water and forest undergrowth. So we went to the rainforest and brought it back home. Good job, children. You did it. You are amazing wildlife rangers. The clouded leopard. Hi everybody, my name is Leo. I am a junior ranger, and this is my puppy, Hero. Oh this? This is a windsock for our garden. We can use it to see the speed and direction of the wind. See? Now I just need to find a good place to hang it. Why don't we look for it together? Let's go. I see a good spot up ahead. Let's try to hang it there. Huh? Hey, that's my windsock. I think it's some kind of cat. And look at those spots on its fur. You know what we should do? Let's take a photo and send it to my sister Katie. She is also a junior ranger. Hold still, little cat. Hi, Katie. Did you find anything about the cat? Hi, Leo. It seems that the cat you found is a clouded leopard. It's a cub, which means that it's still a baby. A clouded leopard cub? The clouded leopard gets its name from the special cloud-like spots on its fur. These spots serve as camouflage so they can hide in the trees. I see. We saw it can climb trees very well. Clouded leopards are arboreal animals which means they mostly live in trees. That's why they have large paws and sharp claws that help them climb. I see. Their flexible short legs and long tail help them balance in the trees. Clouded leopards are one of the best tree climbers of all the big cats. That's amazing. What kind of food do they eat? Clouded leopards are carnivores. This means they eat other animals like birds, deer, and pigs. Clouded leopards live in different countries in Southeast Asia. The one you found comes from this place. I think we should return the cub to its mother since it still needs to learn how to hunt. Come and join us. Great idea, Leo. See you downstairs.
It looks like we have to cross the river to get to those trees. Look at those water lilies. They are so big. The jeep won't go any further. They are blocking the way. Oh no! The cub is going after that butterfly. We have to catch up before it gets lost. But how can we move forward? Look, Leo. Up by those trees. The cub! We have to save it, but we can't get there. This should work. Let's go. Great idea, Katie. Let's save the cub. What to do? I'll take this. Great, Leo. Just in time. <laughs> we did it. We found the clouded leopard's mother. Great work, everyone. Yay! Hooray! clouded leopard cub in our garden. We learned that the clouded leopard is an endangered species and that it spends most of its time in trees. So we went to the rainforest and brought it back home to its mother. Good job, children. You did it. You are amazing wildlife rangers. Hola, exploradores juniors. Check out our Spanish channel by clicking the link in the description below. See you there!